Welcome to Quick Fix the Earth Hours. Oh, what's up? It's your boy yeah. Crazy Bone. I am the Bum Keith G. And welcome back to the Quick Fix After Hours. You know what I'm saying? Y'all kicking it with us. After Hours, doing what we do, talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, you know, man, about everything. You know how we do. It is Thursday, sometime in May. You know what yes, I'm saying? Indeed. We are just chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? Let the face. What's happening tonight, man? We got some special things going on. Jesus yes, Christ, indeed, man. Bro. We got a very special guest in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people know this dude. You know, man, first of all, I'm going to just say, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I told people he was going to be on the show, man, they was just like, oh, man, ask him this. Ask him that, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Ask him that. With everybody, we got, you know what I'm saying, the homie Big Punch in the building from uh, 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 from Top Dog Entertainment, man. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you for blessing us tonight, man. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, man. We know you pleasure. top, dog. We know you busy, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all building the empire, the steady rising over there. You know what I'm saying? So we appreciate you taking time out to come down and chop it up with us, man. Nah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. First, yeah. hey, I got to say first, Bone is my favorite group of all time. Man, man, that's love, bro. Like, mm. I'm a fanatic coming yes, up. Yes, indeed. You know yes. what I'm saying? So when still hit me about doing the podcast, it was... Absolutely, off top. Man, man, appreciate right. that, man. Like I said, man, thank, thank you for having us. Like my dude said, you know, what I'm saying we've been talking, man. We did research, you know, what I'm saying because yes, because I knew is. of you, you know, what I'm saying, mm-hmm. but I didn't, ask, I didn't actually know exactly what you did, you know, what I'm saying. But when I did the research, I'm like, man, what y'all brothers is doing over there, man, it's yeah. like it's something wonderful, man. Nah, you know, what I'm saying, it. And, incredible. And, 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 and hat goes off to y'all, man. And uh, that's some of the stuff I want to talk to you about. We gonna, you know, what I'm saying. This show, you know what I'm saying, we sit up, man, we talk about the music business, you know what I'm saying, we talk about all kinds of shit, we talk about mm-hmm. religion, we talk about politics, yeah. we talk about all kinds of shit, you know what I'm saying, that comes up, so yeah. we keep it like, we put a real perspective on it, you know what I'm saying, we, I sit up and watch CNN and watch that bullshit they talk, you know what I'm yeah, saying, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we like to put a real perspective on shit. Shut up shit, and you know dribble, man? you know what I'm saying, that's what they be saying <laughs> right. up there, yeah, 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 with yeah, their yeah. scholarships and shit, you right. know what I'm saying? We yeah. just on the couch chilling, you know what I'm saying? So today, you with family. You know, plus y'all, y'all both last name is Henderson. Hey, if y'all yeah. that didn't know that, yeah, both their last name is Henderson. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to dig into the family tree because if they is family, I'm going to be able to borrow money from both of them. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be family like it's both family. But, no, you know? it's crazy. My family from Indiana, too. Oh, yeah? So that's close well, over there. Oh, yeah, close. yeah. Yeah, man, it is, man. It Midwest. Might. <laughs> yeah, man, definitely, man. When I when I saw that, I was like, man, that's crazy, Henderson, Henderson. That's 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 crazy. <laughs> and was and was another thing that's crazy is my birthday is the same day as Kendrick Lamar's birthday. Wow, June seventeenth. That's crazy. Wow, it's crazy. The exact same day. So I was like, that's that's day after Tupac. Both yeah. y'all. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. All that hip hop up in the same. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That, uh, Cube was getting up because Cube is on what like the 18th or the 19th so I'm like but it's just crazy like all those days just line up like let that. me ask you something about Kendrick G because I be around this guy a long time you know what I'm saying he mm-hmm. a Gemini as you can see by the date he's saying so you know it's already two people that possess a body anyway so there's yeah, three yeah. niggas I gotta deal with How can, is Kendrick <laughs> the same way you know what I'm saying with his uh, Geminiism <laughs> um, Geminiism I don't know if I'd say that but he definitely crazy yeah, did yeah. you Huh? You the Gemini too, right? Nah. Oh, it's just, nah, just my y'all. birthday in March. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah, that is something different, though. Nah. But, 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 but so I want to know, you know what I'm saying, like this this, this whole vision, man, like this this whole movement, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, I mean, I know you and your you and your family came together to put this whole thing together, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But like, mm-hmm. like, like, what was, what was, what was some of your inspirations in the music, you know what I'm saying? Because I heard you tell a story, you know what I'm saying, like that, 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 Again, sounded just like my family coming yeah, up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you said that, um, you know what I'm saying? Your father used to play music and y'all Absolutely. used to be clear. Bro, that was my household, bro. bro. <laughs> Dougie Fresh I used in to the show. Him about yeah. this yeah. all day, bro. Like my father every weekend, like because my father didn't work on the weekend, so he would come. He would be cooking on the weekends. Mm-hmm. We cooking, cleaning at the same time we wake Ooh. up, the music is playing. As soon as we come up, he'd be like, grab that broom right there. Help me out over here. But, but the same thing. Like That's so. Real. That was the household. Nah, my family's so hip hop. My little sister is named after Roxanne Shante. What? Wow. Like her name is Shante. <laughs> now, now that's crazy, right? <laughs> that's there. dope, right? That's there. dope. That's, that's hip hop trilogy. You know, oh, nah, that's three things. That's hip hop. <coughs> nigga, that's trivia. you know what it is. Trivia. Yeah, trivia. trivia. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Trivia. Man, wise too. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's crazy. But nah, we, uh, my pops used to, when we go pick up my moms from work, he just played Dougie Fresh, the show. All the way there, like back to back to back to back. Like that's my first real memory of mm. 
like hip hop music or just music in general, really. Yeah. Okay. I mean, outside of my aunties, when they come over, they sing all the oldies. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean when they cooking so wow. Bro, that's straight up weird though you know it, it is it even let people know of hip hop I'm glad to be of age of this to be able to see how hip hop vine kept growing so mm-hmm. you talking about Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick over there making the music over there in New York what they making right. have no idea they gonna influence your pops to be able to play this put this on the radio right Henceforth, now we got you guys listening to the thing, and you did what you did off, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the shit I got to get into because I'm hearing this. I'm so now that bursts that seed about this, but way <coughs> on the West Coast, and now the hottest and the most, you know what I'm saying, the empire, like you said, Leatherface earlier, because y'all got an empire y'all got over there. Lord and bless y'all, G. All right, you know yes, what I'm sir. saying? So with that building, that's just more hip hop expanding, and it took a, actually a left turn of what normal or what you call a, a, a prototypical West Coast music could be. Nah, for sure. Nah, that's a, that's a testament to hip hop for sure. Like, that's our news. Just the fact that Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh could say something to let us know what's going on, where they from. Yeah, you know what I mean the area. Mm-hmm. Like that's how we knew about the East Coast, what was going on in New York or whatever. Yeah. Or even Shit. y'all from Cleveland. Yeah. yeah, I had no knowledge of Cleveland at all until definitely. Yeah, you know I mean the EP. That's what everybody said, man. Everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody, right. When we first told, when we first told Easy, we was from Cleveland. He was like, "What the fuck is Cleveland?" <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's, and that's, <laughs> and that's how everybody was. Like, we was like, "Oh man, it's done." Well, fuck trying to explain. You got to go to the motherfucker <laughs> to see what it is. Bro. Nah, right. it's like my first like <clears throat> Cleveland. All I know about Cleveland was Jordan hitting that shot the bad, at the oh free throw God. line. Always bad memories. And then boom. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, definitely, man. <laughs> wow, it's good. so 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 because um. Like I told you, a lot of the fans was was telling me, like, asking me questions, and the main one they was asking, it was like, man, please ask him, is he really coming out with an album? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I was listening to some, to, <laughs> yeah. to some of your stuff, bro, in life. Bro, definitely. Like, it's, 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 it's really It's really rare that you see somebody in your position with the talent that the, with, with, the, with the talent that you possess, but you're able to contain it. Hmm. And do something else though, you yeah. know what I'm Because like, so somebody with that talent, be like, nah, hell, hell no, nigga, patience. I got to be heard, nigga, I got to be seen. Fuck that, they gonna hear me. My shit Jack. coming out right now, yeah. goddamn it. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So that's real cool, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, did you able to contain that and just like because if I was you, bro, one day you got to do something. Bro. Yeah, your skills, man. Incredible, oh, man. I man. appreciate it, especially Definitely. coming from you. But Definitely, it's like I don't know. It's therapeutic for me. You yeah, know what I mean? Okay. I always, always wrote. Always been. Some somewhat of a writer, and then the record is just fun for me. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I try to do it whenever I get a second. But it's like you said, like we really trying to build this empire out at the same time. So it's yeah. like, yeah, definitely, I got to be in different places at different times. So mm-hmm. unfortunately, that takes a back seat. But I got I got some records now. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I got enough to play with now. Oh yeah, man, man, man! You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get that out to the public, man. They waiting for it, bro. Nah, absolutely. I think yeah. it's good you did it that way too, though, because being patient with it and being a hundred percent into your artist, like how you doing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even call it artist because the way it seemed like y'all rock together, y'all just family. You know what I'm saying? So absolutely. the people that y'all work with together. But to not want to just, you know, do the same same things. Because niggas, we, not just niggas, but everybody in business want to get their shit out first or be the first in line. If they say, you know, at the club is free for, I want to be for, <coughs> at the iPhone shit. They get some niggas that, with a sleeping bag, spend the night to be first. Right. That shit's important in life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you, I'm glad you did this because the listeners... You know what I'm saying? That we'll follow your story, not just on this show, but on all the shows you do interviews on. They'll be able to learn, like, you know what? It ain't always about taking first place. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's about being humble and making sure other dudes do what they doing. And I'm going to go do my thing after that. Right. My whole thing, like, I I stripped it down to the bare minimum, like, as to what I want to do and what I'm happy with doing. And when I strip it all the way down, Hmm. it's teaching. So I get a joy out of sharing something with somebody. Right. And then they learn it and then they share it with somebody else. You know what I mean? So that's why I can always take a back seat and coach. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's so. rare and that's dope, man. We commending that on the quick fix, man. man. One that's thing, what we're doing. We stay in our soapbox commending that. You oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? Appreciate it. Another thing, man, you know that I uh that I like is uh with the with the whole camp, you know what I'm saying, is how mm-hmm. y'all, you know what I'm saying, how you know what I'm saying, is how y'all y'all did something like similar to what we did and that's go left mm-hmm. of what the whole industry is doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like but but like like I've been right. I've been trying to get people to like understand like especially like upcoming artists it's like 
like it it ain't it ain't cool to jump on the bandwagon mm-hmm. of what everybody else is doing because that's that's real easy to do, but you're not going to last doing that. Time will expire. Not exactly. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna fall in with the real, with everybody else, and then you're gonna have maybe a hit or two, and then you're gonna be forgotten, right? Because you sound like everybody else, and y'all y'all been able to like, <clears throat> man, man, because it's hard to do because it's kind of like. When that kind of thing is 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 in demand, it's hard to go against the grain because right. they, because everybody want to do it the easy way. Everybody want their money now. You know yep. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's understandable. But if you're trying to have longevity in this thing, the way y'all doing it is the right way. So yeah. I commend y'all for that. Because I appreciate it. Definitely. The main thing with that is I think it's about our um, our structure as a team first. Yes. You know what I'm saying? With, with Top Dog being the, the boss, the CEO of everything, uh, he's not an artist. He's not a rapper. Mm-hmm. So he can focus completely on the business aspect while the artists go ahead and be artists. Yeah. They don't have to worry about sales or marketing strategies or mm-hmm. whatever. Like they can just go in the studio yeah. and do them 100% without yeah. no distractions from the labels, no anything. So yeah. that allows them to be honest and make exactly what they want to make. Man, yes, yes. And that is that is very important especially when you especially when you have that trust you know what I'm saying right. because you know like a lot of times artists like you say like when you working with the, with these labels like you really mm. don't trust them like you mm-hmm. in there like you stressing right. because they're the, you're not you have to be that artist and that dude that's on their neck yeah. at the same time so, you, so your so your creative juices is like really being interrupted you know what I'm saying like so when you have when you're an artist and you have somebody that's looking out for your interests like that mm-hmm. that opens up your creative process Nah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, on the it, strength, wide open. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we, you don't have to stress about all that other crazy shit. So yeah, now nah, imagine like you, you come in, you at the label, and you arguing with them all day. Then you got to go to the studio and try to make a record. It's like yeah, yeah. That, that that ain't. That's why I'm glad it came to what it is now. And it's dudes and brothers like y'all that got companies like this that want to actually make sure artists can worry about being an artist. You right. know what I'm saying? Not that you want to keep him away from his business. Not that. Not you know all. what I'm saying? No, that door yeah. is not closed. But just like dude, <coughs> if I could, if I'm a skateboarder and all I got to worry about is skating, I'm gonna whoop some ass <laughs> right. with skating. Now, of course, yeah. the struggle does make you a rugged dude too. But hell, mm-hmm. if you, nigga, if I could just think about my craft, right? You talking about a professional person that's what they do they groom people to be professional like yeah, that so for sure that's another plus about this company you want to come to a place like that where ain't all in the label all <laughs> on the day <laughs> come over there top dog you know what it is. but yeah, y'all doing but, it though man that gotta be you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be too much but i remember mm-hmm. one thing i was peeping about you before where you said y'all played at a, a one festival one year mm-hmm. got some crumbs then go back the very next two years yeah. that don't even go together very next two years but it do the very next two years, y'all right there getting the union say the amount. I don't even want to know the amount, but it yeah. was just ridiculous, though. Uh, it's crazy. How we, much was that money? Yeah, oh, my goodness. I was. It was, it was, it's it's actually crossed what it is now. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> See? Hey. We bought $5 too, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dog, that that's, 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 that's the blessing, though, because when you get to enjoy your fruits, you uh, you look happy. It don't yeah. look like y'all making music under stress or under no duress. Exactly. You know, like exactly. it's just we got to be pressured or we got to say something they want to say. Exactly. Y'all being yourself, and I'm glad about that because young MCs get to look at y'all. My nephews love y'all nigga shit. We tell, like yeah. he say, when we told him coming up here, man, please, I had to tell him my car broke. Y'all get a water <laughs> pump so they couldn't have to come with us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they dope. love y'all, and that's the type. And y'all didn't have to sell the fuck out. Right. I think a big thing too was like everybody when Kendrick first album came out, everybody was doing it was on singles. Mm. They had the girl record, they had the club record, yeah, 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 the radio yeah. record. Structure. Definitely. But definitely. Kendrick went straight to his heart. It was just all honesty. Mm-hmm. Like he got a 12 minute song on his first album. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I and remember, then the yeah. fir- first single is about alcoholism. Mm-hmm. It's like, that's rare. Like we didn't follow <clears throat> none of the trends or any of that, and it exactly. resonated with the people because it was honest shit exactly when they played that song on the game because I used to watch the game too mm-hmm. still do on BT but when they played that shit right there though it just went straight with it too because right. Malik was having a depression time at that time so he was mm-hmm. really drinking you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. it just was just went hand in hand like man what the hell but yeah. it was it's different music nah for refreshing. sure refreshing so what do you feel about so what, what what do you feel about like the whole like, cause I ask everybody this, you know what I'm saying? The young, the, uh, the younger generation, and you know, what do you, what do you feel about the state of hip hop? Like, you know what I'm saying? From, 
because you know it's just it's so it's so many artists in the game, man. From you know, like you get so many opinions from right dudes hate what's going on to dudes okay with it to some dudes all the way okay with it. So yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard because you got to put it all in different boxes and categories. Like for one, like what me and Still was talking off camera earlier, we were saying how like. You don't want to hate on nobody that's getting money and feeding their family. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like, oh, they yeah. can go out and they can be doing something else. Definitely. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? That's detrimental to them. But when I get that out the way and just go with good music versus bad music, mm -hmm. it's a lot of bad music that's out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's tough for the real artists to get heard because everybody is being heard at the same time. Yeah. So that's the gift and the curse of the internet as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everything gets out. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, the, yeah. old, the old saying, you know, the cream rise to the top. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah, that's true. Everything gets to the top, yeah, even the bullshit the these days. I, I mean, <laughs> no, 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 no. Everything gets out. Right. Yeah. Even even the bullshit. See, back then, see, we would have we never heard some of this shit we hear now. Right. <laughs> never. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these never. Niggas, <laughs> technology done let the cat out the bag, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> these right, niggas exactly. done come out with some crazy so, shit. I mean, you would have never about, heard nothing like that before. It, it never. It just wouldn't yeah. have been. It wouldn't have been possible a long time ago. It just wouldn't have been possible. Yeah, no, no, no. But I'm, 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 I'm just trying to understand where all the, uh, you know, what I'm saying because I understand like, you know, the young cats. You know, what I'm saying they doing their thing. You know, yeah. like they shining right now, and that's all good. Like nobody has a problem with that. I mm -hmm. understand like <coughs> where the problem has come in at to where they feel like they have to be disrespectful towards right towards. Hmm. The generation that came before them, because I I've, I've really heard nobody. Well, besides Joe Budden, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Joe Joe always out here talking crazy about these uh, about the young <laughs> generation. But right. besides him, I have really, really have never heard anybody that came from our generation like really, really hating on these right. on the on the younger generation. So I don't know where where it all comes from. Where I hear these dudes coming out, and then I understand why everybody's trying to. Uh, Attack Tupac like when 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 he ain't here to defend himself. I'm like, ain't, right. that, ain't that the same shit he said on his song? Y'all niggas talk the shit when I, I'm going. I think with. that Pac thing, thing is because he, he he put a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, like the stuff he did. At, yeah, oh, he yeah, was 25 true. when he died. True, true. Yeah, so his yeah. whole catalog put a lot of pressure on people. Yeah, yeah man, man that's you, true. You, you don't want that comparison sometimes. Yeah, hell no. Nah, I, I think know. I think it's a thing of though where the young has to overthrow. The old or older, like, I think it's is is innate. Yeah, like, it's, I feel that's thing what you're saying. The, the hungry lion coming on top to the right. to the lion that's on top. They've been running yeah. things for a while. It'd be like that. I think the problem with our shit with hip hop because yeah. mm -hmm. I've been watching this shit. It's the same way in the church too. But them <clears> other type of things we talk about them kind of thing because them bridges between the youth and the older ones is the same kind of shit too. But mm -hmm. that's with everything, even with football. Tell my man, you go with back with dog. We sit up and talk about to the cats that had some niggas with leather helmets. Gonna say we play like this. You right. know what I'm saying? Other niggas, we ain't had no motherfucking helmet. Nigga, we ain't had no face mask. Nigga, right. we had, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna yeah. be that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you go to the lines of it, it's just as long as people, I think that the people that are doing the hardcore shit from the beginning mm -hmm. want people to not forget them. They want them to remember that shit when you didn't play with one. Don't act like you invented this shit. You know what right. I'm saying? And that's where the problem, and I think the bridge that goes on. But Older cats and dudes that did the shit can't expect a young nigga that's getting his shit just to bow down to you at the right. same time, too. You yeah, know what I'm nah, saying? Sure. Just like that. Yeah, it yeah, has yeah. to be a mutual bridge with that kind of situation. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, no. But 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 to me, it, it ain't it ain't even a fact of like having to even like say nothing. Like Right. Bro, bro, you you bro, you don't even have to say nothing. Because like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's just, it's just a respect principle. A true artist. Is gonna respect another true artist whether you like his music or not. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't like the nigga, we can play. Oh, okay. He, he. I don't really like his music, but he cool. Hell yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of dudes I don't listen to their music, but but uh, but I know him personally, and I and I and I fuck with him, but I don't necessarily I don't necessarily necessarily listen to their music. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. It's all about just having the respect, bro, because there's no need for you to come out saying, fuck this person. For one, because he's yeah. passed away and he's dead and he can't defend himself. And right. was great. For two, yeah. for two, most of these dudes that's saying this, yeah. these dudes, like, 
Tupac passed away early, and y'all probably will still never catch his career. Right. Bottom line. So Absolutely. you shouldn't be out here saying nothing until you even like, like even get to his level, which would never happen. So you shouldn't be saying shit. Bottom yeah. line. Too though, just real I think hip hop is 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 battle culture too. Oh yeah, exactly. it's aggressive. You know what I mean? Like. You you want to go at whoever is on top or whoever <laughs> you feel is on in your way. Exactly. Oh yeah. You know what I mean. So, but I look at it as we always got respect from the older generation. We was coming up because we always gave respect to them. Mm-hmm. Like even when like when Kendrick did the uh, that verse on Big Sean, the control thing. I, man, I was I was gonna bring that up when you said that. That's crazy. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> my, my point on that is that. In the verse, he shouted out the older guys first. Mm-hmm. He shouted out Jay, he shouted out uh, Nas, M, and then he st- he started mentioning his peers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Handling but he, he, he shouted out the older generation first because that's who paved the way. Yes. If it wasn't for them, like it wouldn't be no him. Definitely. So it's about it's about respect. Like you can be number one. But yeah. still, you got to pay homage to what came before you. That's what yeah. I'm saying. This is one of the first times that really you see in the hip hop history where people that's number one are paying homage. I mean, even LL when he first came out in the days, mm-hmm. he totally destructed the uh, the everybody that was before him. Mm-hmm. All you Jerry curl faggots wearing high heel boots <laughs> yeah, like ballerinas. Yeah. What I mean is you a Fruit Loop trip. That, 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 that word me right there. <laughs> that word, that was Y'all get out of here. We ain't doing that shit no more. Yeah. Now we wearing sweatsuits and gold chain. We I'm taking over. So he did take that number one spot over, but with, you know, the other way around it, which is, you know, that's what hip hop is. And that's what kind of fucks us up because we aggressive with it. We competitive with it, yeah. but we still have messages to say. So we kind of at a paradox with that yeah. shit of like how we, so our people, the street people be like, what the fuck we, yeah. we, ba- we balling, we learning, we, what the fuck <laughs> we do? So we, they don't know just the MC controls a lot of that shit. And I just want a lot of the MCs, producers and everybody to understand and I know y'all understand it because I hear it from y'all camp. I'm not talking about y'all. Mm-hmm. But to understand, this shit's a platform. Yeah. And the children really are listening for word for word. How to mm-hmm. even talk to their woman, what to drink, what yeah. to wear. Right. When to even go to sleep, what to do, when to wake up, what to work, what what time is that show on? I got a BT on Rap City or this and that. That's on all yeah. the information and publications. So if we hold that much power with our young kids that our parents can't or the principal can't or the teacher or the preacher can't, we need to kind of be like that. Don't we don't need to be the dude to shun this thing? So that's why yeah, I love sure. y'all camp, G. Nah, absolutely. Yeah. It co- it comes with maturity too, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As you get older, you start to see things a little bit differently. So your message tend to change. Yeah. So when you're a youngster, though, like you, you only know a few things. So it it, it can it can get reckless. Mm. Like those same dudes who talk about Pac now, yeah, might feel different about him in a few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, and, and, that's true. And that's what I'm that's saying. True. And, and, that. and that's what I said. Like you know, like like a true artist. You know what I'm saying? Like a true artist would never like would never like say those words because like right. like a true a like. Like a true artist, for one, is gonna respect all music that came before them, even if it sure. ain't even if it ain't the genre they come from. They're gonna respect the music because, Absolutely. you know, what I'm saying like I don't care what kind of music it is. I listen to everything and get influenced by it. So, yeah, you know, yeah. what I'm saying you're gonna. You're gonna respect the music, and like I said, man, it's just all about the respect. So, nah, absolutely. But two, you the the key word you saying though is true artists. Exactly. It's not a lot of true artists. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and uh, and man, and, and man, that's another thing. Like, you know, I, I I also feel like you know what I'm saying. Like, it used to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, it used to be. It used to feel more special. Mm-hmm. It used to feel more special. You know what I'm saying? Because now. Just like you said, so many people is doing it. Like yeah. everybody, bro. I was looking at the, I was looking at the page of all, like, like all the freshmen mm-hmm. on Double XL that's coming out, and I was just like, it's just like, it just right. Page after page, picture after picture of people that yeah. look look the same. I'm like, right, right, right. I think the, I think the crazy. thing is, I'm gonna cut you off, but my thing is that when I was coming up, like y'all was like superheroes. Like yeah. you, your whole generation. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm looking at it like, dog. I love this music to death, but I can't do that. Like yeah. the skill level is too crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now with technology making everything so easy, exactly. This dudes is looking like, yo, I can do that. Right, exactly. I can sound just like him or better. 
Exactly. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's more, it's more, it's more access. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And and I saw DJ Kelly saying something like I saw something on Kelly today, and he was talking about these. You know, he laughed at these uh, at, at some of these cats that say they working. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Man, you working?" <laughs> he was like, "Man, <laughs> sitting back, uploading a video on YouTube, and it's not working, man." Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That is not working. You e know, we, even down to the regiment of the rhyme writing, let the face. Everybody, we can we had to this. Get out. 16 bars is crazy to Blood, write when you want to make it different. When Absolutely. you want to make your, when you want to use a word that another nigga ain't used, you know another <laughs> nigga ain't. So, you know, right. in your mind scan, there's only something. You got to work hard to think about another word. I'm not mad at the guys for getting paid easy now, because like y'all said, mm -hmm. I want young black dudes to be able to take care of their family and stuff. Right, right. It, but I just want to know, I'll let you know, if I was in that position and knowing that rap is easy now and it was hard then, mm -hmm. at least I'd say, hey, man, I sure thank God for them dudes that came before me, right. man, and put that thing down. So now that I could barely just say anything and make more than they even made by working harder. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even give back. But. I don't blame those guys because there's no foundation for them to learn. We right. don't have that yet. You know, they, they're getting the hip-hop museum together and yeah, stuff like that, it, but there's no foundation for MCs to learn shit. I want to ask shit. you, mm -hmm. do, man, do, do, you, do, you, do you think it's possible for, 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 the, um, for just like people, you know, just, just, just for us to ever regain the culture back? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And... and and what would it take for us to actually get it back, bro? Because you know what I'm saying, it, it, it's been it's been it's been extorted so much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's the reason it's like you know what I'm saying. It's 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 been extorted so much. It's like I don't understand why cats like you know what I'm saying. I don't understand why cats like Cool Herc. Mm -hmm. It's like not talked about and like sitting somewhere just wealthy, just like just because. Right. Thank, yes. Thank you for this. Just because. Just because. Yeah. It's like you know what I'm saying. I don't. I don't understand why why our genre of music is not controlled by us, and why it ain't it ain't more respected. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't more respected by us. Right. I think this is the first well, generation that could actually make that happen yes. to where the legends are respected, how they should be respected, whether it's monetarily or mm -hmm. you know I mean whatever way they're supposed to be respected. But as far as when you say getting the culture back. I personally don't think so because it's time. Mm. Like we had it at one particular time, and that time is over. Yeah. Like we got to progress and move forward. Yeah, yeah, you know true. I mean? We, but we have to, we have to guide it as we moving forward. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All right, it, it, it'll keep getting more, more and more out of whack. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, 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 I feel that it, 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 it needs to be. It needs to be more levels and more branches to it. Just like, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, just just like just like, you know what I'm saying, just like rock and roll never rock and roll always puts their pioneers and their legends up here. Absolutely. Always. Always. You know what I'm saying? You know yep. what I'm saying? They, 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 even R and B put their legends up on the pillow. Hip, hip hop is the only one that you know what I'm saying, like it has to be. And not just for them because it's a lot of it's a lot of Dudes is in the making of being legends. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just like it's just like when you in war, when you at, when, when you when you're a soldier in war, niggas use you up. Then they throw you in like, oh, nigga, you hey. can't fight no more. You out of here, nigga. Right. Hey, they ain't on the medical. And all, all these <laughs> okay. dudes and soldiers right now, I got to realize that y'all moving up to the legend position. Mm -hmm. And it's like it ain't really what motherfuckers be thinking. Like you know what I'm saying? Like right. oh, nigga, they gonna love you? No, <laughs> nah, bro. You got to. You still got to fight to make these motherfuckers understand, like, why you still that motherfucker? Yeah. It's crazy to no me. No bullshit. I'll yeah. be looking at is how Metallica can still tour. Yeah, exactly. And it's just a Metallica tour, but if Big Daddy Kane tour, they got to put together all old types of people package. with them. Right, right, exactly. You know, salt and pepper and uh, exactly. Dougie right. Fresh and Slick Rick and uh, got to be, yeah, got to be four, yeah. five, or six of them. Candy Man got to be in the thing, you know. Yeah, no, no. I mean, that's real, you know. And and, and and I tell my dudes all the time, I'm like, bro, we was blessed, you know, what I'm saying like to be mm -hmm. able to still go out like today, twenty five years later, and still be able to, like right. to sell shows out with just us, right? Because a lot of rappers, like a lot of people, cannot do that. I'm like, yeah. you know what I'm saying like it's a blessing. Do we able to still do that? You know what I'm saying? But it's like, it should be better. It should be better for everybody in general, man. If you made an impact in this game, then you know what I'm saying. It should be, it should be recognized 
that yeah. you made an impact in this game. Like you know what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. all those all, all those female MCs that paved the way yeah, before, man. before there was a Nicki Minaj, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, all them, you know what I'm saying? Like, before mm-hmm. it was a Cardi B, it was a lot of females that, that was drugged through the mud. Absolutely, for them to be there right now, you know what I'm saying? So for sure, it's just a game. We got to get better with our hip hop, man. <laughs> it's just it's, it's something we didn't take yeah. care of, you know? Cause we we was this wasn't. It, like you say, it wasn't ours from the beginning. And it's something that should have been ours from the beginning. So we never really had our hands on the business. So we never could establish something to take care of the whole situation like the other right. things did. Nobody pushed for us. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like that. We was just so happy to be down and not have to live in our mama house no more or be in a basement if you're from New York or wherever. You, you know what I'm saying? Different yeah. places to get out there and get on a raggedy ass tour bus back then that had seats in it. Some of them had seats in it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Now it get changed and they got shiny things for them right. to keep them occupied to not get on a mission. For you sure. Know what I'm saying? That's what I was saying about this is probably the first generation that could actually make a change. Okay. You yeah. mean? Because it's, so it's so much money and that's what it's all revolving around. There's so much money that everybody is making. If everybody come together, yeah. Even if we form like some sort of board where there it go, everything go real. through that. There it go. Now right. you talking, G. And I'm not yeah. even. I'm not. I don't like to hear my voice. I ain't just trying to say shit to say <laughs> yeah. shit. But I'm talking about nigga. A nigga like me be rich, and y'all didn't hit that like that. And I know you guys are the kind of guys that think like that. So when you just say it like that, mm-hmm. you probably be sitting on the board because the Lord bless certain people's hearts. Y'all right. story that I watched, that ain't nothing but the Lord. I don't care what nobody hmm. tell me from when J Rock was right there and the other homie didn't come yeah. to the spot and right, J Rock right. really wasn't a featured dude to be right there, but yeah. he got heard and then it started and Kendrick come after that and then you got all these mm-hmm. other artists and stuff like that. Come on, man. Nah, for sure. Yeah, and Kendrick is already like is is already being looked at as you know what I'm saying. I I could I can see him move. I can see yeah, I can yeah. see the whole the whole camp lead the movement like that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. For going sure. after that man because it's something that needs to be talked about something that probably can be done like you said by this by this generation because it is very powerful no absolutely just think like even we got a couple of cats that's close to billionaires that's that's hip hop oh yeah oh yeah yep. you know what I'm saying so it's like who's very, at 99 somebody just was at 99 right now right uh, cause Dr. Dre we got him and then somebody was at yeah. 999 something or 900 something I think it was Jay just probably was Jay Z I think yeah. so you know what I'm yeah. saying I think yeah. that's Jay what just passed said. Puff you know what I'm saying yeah. And then, then, then he talking about 800 or something million. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's a lot of snaps to go around some different projects. That's a lot of groceries. Yeah. That's a lot of cars for single mothers on what, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of, yeah. that's a lot of things like that, G. Yeah, but it's like if we just pull all our power and resources together, like we can control a whole bunch of stuff. Man, as opposed definitely. to everybody being, you know, separate. Yeah. They got their own separate thing. Yeah, man, and that's exactly what we need to do because, like, I mean, damn, it's been going on for too long, man. We too, we we came in, we came in last place all the day of time. <laughs> I, don't, the I love giving away turkeys this and shit stuff. Got to sometimes, if, if I don't got no home to cook a turkey <laughs> in, what is am I going to do? Oh, yeah. I'm not even being funny or facetious with the shit because you we sometimes as black people we'll give away this or give away a bike. I ain't got nowhere to keep that bike, man. We need a home. I might need a little something in my bank account and everything. You know what I'm saying? Because just to get that family started, get them mm-hmm. rooted. You know what I'm saying? And now they up and they doing it for another family. They done right. got up and did it for another. They done, they done found out somebody cares about them. And once you find out somebody care about you, you may fuck up a few times and do this and that because of, yeah. if you have a habit or whatever. You right. know what I'm saying? But when somebody care about you, you're going to kind of want to make them kind of feel that you, you know, you reciprocating that. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. You're going to do better. So, yeah. I mean, this position that dudes is in with this hip hop and right. the wealth, my God, it could change our uh, whole community. See, the issue right? is we don't own anything. Yeah, like Definitely. we don't own anything. Definitely, like we don't even have a food to call our own. Like, yeah, we I made know. up Damn soul right. food. Yeah, we got the I hot know. wing. Yeah. Name and ours. Well, yeah, no, yeah, and then, and then it seemed like every time a nigga try to go get their shit, motherfucker end up yeah. mysteriously dead or some shit like that. Shit, is crazy. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't I understand you. it. Shit is crazy, thing. but I still don't understand how a nigga like Prince right. got his shit and then he mysteriously yeah. Man, mysteriously, conveniently, just just right. just passed away. Talk to him, leather Come face. Come on, man, I'm not buying this. In the shit. elevator? Man. Come on. In the elevator, bro. Nigga? It's so much shit we can talk about. So much shit, you know. But I gotta chill because I might step outside in the black van, be outside <laughs> waiting on me. Be waiting, G. Can't fuck with the black van right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to, hey, you know, dedicated to the black van. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, bro, it's all. Oh, uh, they got know. helicopters too, G. I forgot to tell you about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them motherfuckers even swim. I'm telling you, yeah, I went fishing the other day. One motherfucker popped up. He was looking at me, man. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, we got but, a show hey, man, going in. This is not up real quick. Uh, Cause we always talk about this motherfucker, dude. Cause I don't, you know, dude, we really don't respect this dude. What, 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 what's your thoughts on uh, the president, Donald Trump? Got know? to be talking about that bastard. Um, got to be. Honestly, like, I don't know. It, it, before Obama, like maybe Clinton. Yeah, you know, all them dudes pretty much the same dude <laughs> to me. <laughs> yeah. The only difference with him though is he's honest. He's honest about his truth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, he says exactly what he thinks is true and right. That's Because he's not a politician. Exactly. The other ones That's will true. lie to you and tell you this, this, and that and do the opposite. But he going to tell you right away, I'm going to put up a wall. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do this Muslim ban. I'm going to do this and that because he feel that that's absolutely right. Exactly. And, and that, that's, yeah. that's dangerous. Like. You're when, absolutely right. He he came. He 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 wasn't a politician. He wasn't a Democrat. He wasn't a pub, right. a Republican. He was disruptive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was disruptive in the uh, uh, in the political world. Man. And that just goes to show you how that, how, how that whole thing works. You know what I'm saying? Because he came and 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 that's actually the first time I've heard it like like broken down. Like how you just broke it down. You know, because everybody used to come out flat out and hey fuck him or right. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah. straight up. But like that was real interesting because it is true. Like. People can hate him, but like at least he ain't told nobody no lies. Like, he he, he, he yeah. came out flat out like, look, yeah. this is where it's gonna be. You don't like get your yeah, ass up right. this motherfucker for real. I can dig that, but like, even no more. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking talk. about the thing that now. This reminds me even more of the shit that I watched about earlier because you were like, you know, my man Top Dog like the way I think. We started business because like the way I think. Mm-hmm. Like my man Leatherface said, it's not a lot of people that's gonna answer that. I know as one, I'm not gonna answer it like that. But I listened to your answer, and I'm like, you know what? My dude was able to be at peace with himself and find beauty with anything. Let me find the best or at least something positive out of that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I think it's more energy to be... I'm learning some shit. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I done seen them Asian people outside doing their thing real slow. And yeah. some people are talking to me. I'm Absolutely. learning. But I mean, patience like that. Even to be able to find something cool out to the president. And the dude is a total asshole. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Not even on a no, racist sure. thing. But that's cool. It's the thing, like... Would you rather have somebody say, hey... When I see you, I'm going to shoot you. Or you rather have somebody who's not going to say nothing and just sneak up on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like, Trump going to tell you exactly what it is. Hold on, give me a minute, <laughs> shit. Let me think about this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? nah, I mean, that's real like, talk, though. Like, he giving you the warning so you can be looking out. Like, okay, yeah. you don't like yeah. certain people. <laughs> So yeah. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna stay away from this and that, yeah. that and this. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, and you're right. And, and and in the way that is, that is his, him. him him being so blatant and honest is, it, it can can work as a weakness as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it can, and and then and then the game he's in, most likely it will at some point. I mean, the shit right. works. Bruce and Million did it. You know, Richard Pryor and Bruce and Million, none of the above. He had a campaign like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He actually was fitting to win to be president. He had you think he's gonna get reelected? Uh, and shit in this world, <laughs> hell yeah, they like exactly what he's doing. Confused. Uh, anarchy and saying any damn thing that's what America America likes they taking prayer out of school you see what's happening no intention for nobody to be having no uh, children shot and stuff like that but you cannot do these things under this government this government's going in a whole nother way so no mm. I mean yeah he, yeah, they're gonna want him again because this is America likes this agenda you know what right. I'm saying chaos <laughs> motherfuckers looking this way so then they sneaking shit through the back door as long as they got a bunch of tension over here. Yeah. And then they're going that way, doing all the agendas that they really want, setting up for this Antichrist and all that kind of thing that we will get into later on in these episodes of these shows. You know I, what I'm saying? I think it's, uh, I don't think it's a matter of political agenda. I think it's about if he can come up with another good uh, campaign slogan. Exactly, huh? Because get everybody going. Yeah, because that's, that's where the emotion comes from. Yeah. Make I, America great again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that, that tickled. Oh yeah. Like, that was just like Obama's. Was yes, we can. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, now yeah. you coming off a of bush. That's true. Yeah. So like you want to get true. all the way away from the bush. So it's like change. This whole thing was change. Yes, yeah. we can. Uh, change. I didn't look at it like that. Now that's the first time I see. Yeah. Now Obama slipped his in too. Yeah. That was some shit yeah. that favored us. Now I, what, what, I didn't what, know what, what, yes what, we can was good. Shit, I just what was what was what was Clinton's. 
I didn't sleep with that woman. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> yeah he got that woman too. That was it. Because he know he, he didn't sleep with that he woman. Like, I got some scars now. Now, 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 now. I got some scars. Now, now, now. That nigga know he was all over that bro. Nigga. Ooh, I'm talking about <laughs> all over that bro. <laughs> oh, That's all right, Bill. Man, it's all out the closet now, baby. You a. Hey. You one of the brothers, baby. Yeah, you one I of the brothers. Bill, <laughs> what? You met the president? Oh, oh you yeah. got to tell us about yeah. that. G, you, you met no president, How was man. That? How was he, man? It, it was, was cool. It was weird. Like, yeah. it was at uh, Made in America, Jay-Z uh, Festival. Yeah, yeah. We had SZA performing, and uh, I was sitting up in the box with Jay. And Beyonce was over there in the cut, so we just talking. And I looked down, and I see, like, Secret Service coming. Mm. And then Bill Clinton coming. Wow. <laughs> so he come walk up, right? So we sitting there, we talking for a second, you know, he he on his politics, he trying to get his wife elected. Damn. So then he left us after about two or three minutes and went right to Beyonce. And like kicked Jay Drink over on accident on the way going over there. Oh, Bill's dumb. Hey, hey, hey. Shouts out to Bill. He's oh, deep. Like, oh, <laughs> shit. It's good. Hey, 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 hey. hey. That boy had the campaign. <laughs> hey, I, look, I looked at Jay. And it was like, what? You thought he come here to see me? Yeah, man, uh, uh, hey, <laughs> Jay, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, get that nigga bill, man. Hell yeah, man. You know get what I'm saying? Get that nigga off your wife, man, for <laughs> real, son. Shouts out to the power nah, couple, man. He was, he was actually like, that was my first time seeing politics live. Yeah, like he oh, wanted wow. that opportunity to sit and take pictures, <coughs> take pictures with Beyonce, so he can get the black woman's vote. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Man, that was crazy. Hell yeah, because she making them, hey, she getting information shit. and shit. That is some crazy shit, man. Huh. That's some crazy shit how politics work though. Like, mm-hmm. but be, because I even I even saw uh, I was watching um I was watching like Drink Champs and they was talking about how 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 they felt like um you know it was I think it was fabulous and uh, and, uh Kiss uh, yeah Kiss on there and they was talking about how the whole Eminem situation how Eminem came out and he took the platform to speak about Trump mm-hmm. but how they wish it would have been before right. Before the uh, before Trump said what he said, and before you know, they was like mm-hmm. you know he also had an album coming out and all this stuff. So they, you know, right. they felt like it was it was more geared towards promoting mm-hmm. what he had coming out more than than more about you know like the actual message. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, I mean, I don't know how you feel about that, though. I don't. I don't. It's tough for me because I don't. I don't know his motives. Yeah, like, I don't know. You know Same thing I see personally. So it's hard to really speak on what his motives was. I don't know if he was moved to yeah. just write the freestyle then, yeah. or if it was behind you know promoting. Because I was moved by what he said, definitely. Yeah, no, I, I like the freestyle. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't know. I can't. I can't call it either way. Yeah, man. Some political situations going down, geez. But it's all G. Because that's yeah. what we do right here, man. It's the quick fix, man. You know what I'm saying? After you know, hours, man. You, no, 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 no. And, and, and I'm just bringing it up because I, I happen to be watching it, you know what I'm saying? And it, and it was something like that clicked in my head because I never thought about that like that either, you know what I'm saying? Because I, yeah. the, like right. I said, I thought I, I saw the message and I was like, yo, bro, that's dope he did that. You know what I'm saying? It's dope mm-hmm. he took that that situation. I ain't know nothing about all the other stuff that was, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. Supposedly going on, but. yeah. Anyway, I still think it was cool it was. that he took that, you know what I'm saying? Because people, I mean, because it could have backfired on him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It could have, hey, oh, oh, yeah, you want to be on their side? Right. Nigga? Yeah, we going to. You know what's funny? <laughs> what's that, funnier about that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's funny to me about the whole situation is Trump never responded to him. Never. But he he, he responded to anybody. Show, show, no, no, no. Snoop Dogg. No, yeah, no, 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 but, but it is right because he never responded to LeBron James either. It's a lot of power between now, what you think LeBron we, we, and him. Now, we did say that yes. earlier, but that female, that uh, that broad that said that stuff about LeBron, talking about now the shut up and dribble, which still has been carried over. Kobe <laughs> has just, and, and uh, uh, c- congratulations on Kobe and your whole family for winning the Oscar. Gee, I'm, that's just more blessings for you because he can't do nothing wrong, I guess. You know what I'm saying? And he's Laker, too. Oh, yeah, for but, sure. You know what I'm saying? To for him to be able to say that we don't just uh, shut up and dribble from from an Oscar platform, and then this white bro going to tell LeBron James just to do that. The same stigma that's in America, and this is going. This ain't just see, just because it's in colors of skins, they like to let us pit it that way. So I don't. Even, I want to back up and not even say it's no black and white kind of situation. At this point, if you can't see, because I didn't see, I got some, I got white peoples in my family now. You know what I'm saying? And different people that married and different things. I didn't see some. They didn't take care of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So it's no thing about no color. I done messed with different types of people. This shit is evil. <laughs> yeah, sure. So I'm saying, it's a long way of saying this, but gee, 
how in the hell do we even think about getting that kind of thing where we can look at one person and rate them for who they are and what they is, you know? Yes, sir. I mean, it's crazy. If I had a cricket, he would say some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Was it too much question? Okay. How how we get that shit back to where we <laughs> yeah, yeah, For I'm, real though. I'm you saying, you tell me what you asked him, about, I'm like I was asking like seven questions at one time and I won't That's why I didn't understand. I'm sitting here like okay. <laughs> Well, shit. What was, what was the question? Two of them, shit. What was the question? Again, I don't please. Even remember no more. Again, shit. started with Corbell. No, but I mean on the yeah. real. And say like you know, for us doing what we doing. Cheers, you know man. what I'm saying? How to get it? How to get yeah. it to a situation where we could take the whole situation and make it a lot better than what's going on. That's all I'm saying. A whole lot better than what's going on with everything. As far as homework. Eating vegetables. <laughs> Nigga, you know what I'm talking about? As far as learning all this shit that we doing this and make incredible. it just a whole thing of what we, you know what I'm saying, how to really translate these words to, you know what I'm saying, for somebody to understand them. I say just get the nigga out the, muff, out, out the office, nigga. But you know, I don't get caught up in politics. I'm neutral, man. I'm neutral. I don't get caught up in the shit. I sit back and watch and yeah. laugh and I say that, you know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all didn't trust it, the motherfuckers, you wouldn't be feeling like that. You know oh, what I mean? Like, yeah. Real talk, you know what I'm saying? That's like, real so that's, that's what I say, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't get it's too much other stuff going on in the world, you know what I'm saying? I put it like this, bro, like my whole life it may have affected me like somewhere down the line, but my whole life what they been doing in the fucking White House have never affected me the way I get that's money, right. the way none none of this shit. Oh, that's, that's the same that, that's thing. That's why I say like say. Bro, that that's why I say like when they sit up and talk about a depression and all I'm like, nigga, what nigga? We didn't know it was never no. We was there, never not one. Hell nah. right. You mean to tell me it was a time was money actually coming through this motherfucker? Nigga, we missed ten, that then. Stupid God, damn, ten dollars worth of gas in. Real no talk, gas high. bro. Real talk. So I'm like, like we never get bent out of shape. You know what I'm saying about that shit? Because like I never listen to what these motherfuckers say, man. These motherfuckers right. tell us what they want. They tell us what they want to tell us, and then when they get elected, they can't do none of that shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's the same game over and over. Niggas keep falling for the same damn game over and over. Playing it, too. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it is what it is, man. Just get your money. Keep living your life, man, because uh, it's like, it never affected us anyway. Like, bottom line. That's what line. I'm saying. I don't know. I, th I think we got spoiled right. with Obama. Exactly. Yeah, man, like, that's what it was, man. I, man, <laughs> that's what it was, man. Happy to see that Something. dude in there, and that stimulus check was good because we did. I did receive a check. And I think, <laughs> and I think, and I think that's why with Pac being before his time all the time, I think that's what he meant when he was like, even though it seemed heaven sent, we ain't ready to see a black president, president. because it kind of got us all up on our yeah. on our hustle mode. Everybody was letting their guard down. <laughs> Oh, I'm an American <laughs> citizen now, and yeah. I'm free. Yeah. Soon as Trump got back in there, whoop, whoosh, get your ass back yeah, in that, that goddamn. Back in all that grease hey. around when Michelle had that grease Nigga, around the thing for frying chicken and shit. They had all that. <laughs> get all that. In fact, change the whole stove. The whole That's what range. I'm saying. Like we've been under the same political <clears throat> system for hundreds of years. Bro, the same one. Hey. It ain't changing. I and think I, the best way to know, like y'all saying, ignore the shit, build your own empire. And another thing I saw on the on the on the um. On the drink champs then because Steve Rifkin came in, he sat down and talked. You know what I'm saying for a minute. Mm -hmm. Steve Rifkin, I'ma be at you, nigga. Yeah, man. You, yeah, uh huh. Shouts yeah. out, Nori. You know you I got to holler at you, man. Hey, we got some unfinished business, Mister Rifkin, man. You already know what I'm talking about, man. Holler at me, man. Holler at your boy. But uh, anyway, yeah, yeah. But uh, um, man, I heard him saying that you know that uh, his father is one. His father is actually the one to sign James Brown. Mm. I ain't know that. Wow. His father signed James Brown, and he said he was doing something to where he was looking at, bro, what artist would it, because I, cause, cause I don't want to get it wrong. He said he was looking at somebody's contract, of the, Akon's. He, he was looking at Akon's contract, and he was like, bro, would you believe that Akon's contract is identical to James Brown's contract? Wow. Damn. He was like, That's and insane. how far is the year span from that? 30 year right. gap. 40, 30, I was like, gap? That is, he was like, I, I kid you not. And this is Steve Rifkin saying this, like, mm -hmm. giving the game up like this. Like, yeah. he was like, I saw the contract myself. That's because they tell you the truth when you get a contract. This is standard. Yeah. Ain't that what they Bro, say? It's crazy. This is standard? Like, but that shit has to change, though. Shit. It's changing now. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's definitely changing now. Like, even the situations we doing right now. Yeah, yeah, bro. It's unlike, like, we really making new rules. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's crazy that... 
the artist can make something that somebody else owns. Yeah. And they get paid off of it for the rest of their life, and the artists don't. Man, First, too. Bro, that is so true, bro. Because That's like, insane. Because once I sat back and I... Once I sat back and I understood like like how the industry went, I immediately was like, "This shit is not fair." <laughs> right. I'm like, because this shit is called the <laughs> music. <laughs> Listen, no, no, bro, because this shit is called the fucking music <laughs> business. One don't go without the other. If you ain't got no music, you ain't got no business. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. how y'all just gonna take my shit and act like y'all just came up with everything? Motherfucker, no. <laughs> if if I didn't give y'all my music, you wouldn't have had nothing to put no money into, motherfucker. Yes. Right. Fuck that. Like, hell no, nigga. This shit got to be on some yeah. even shit because I'm bringing to the table mm -hmm. just this much because you ain't got the talent. Who right. in the fuck brought up a quarter of record or 10 cents and shit like that? Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, just real. imagine a motherfucker that's sitting up <laughs> thinking about that. Like, you know what? We gonna give them 10 cents a record. Off something that costs $10 a piece selling 10 million of them things come on you talking about that's why artists be walking around off crack this is what I would like to see broken things I would like to see I would like to see this 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 implemented in in, in hip hop man because it's like so detrimental to our course culture and to like so many people that got into this and like feed their families hmm. there should be like some kind of um uh, like, no lie, bro, because it's serious. It should be, like, some kind of class on this shit, bro. Like to, te to teach people, like, what you need to do. Like, when you get in this shit, fuck. Like, like teach them what that advance is, bro. Yeah. You have to pay that shit back, man. This is not the shit you about to be balling and flossing on. You got to pay that shit back, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's going to, you're never going to pay it back because that's what they're going to tell you. Yeah. You never recruit. Worse than the college. Mm -hmm. get, what the fuck niggas been here? What the fuck you talking about? I ain't recoup, motherfucker. You're right. But you never recoup. Never. Because you're going to shoot somebody. You never video. fucking recoup. <laughs> oh, yo, you want <laughs> a big video? Yeah, yeah shoot. It's crazy, but <laughs> somehow you never fucking recoup. You're like, what the fuck is going on? With? You know what I'm saying? But like, bro, they need to be educated, man. You know what I'm saying? It, that shit you see on TV, yeah. that's just, that's that's a 10% of the business. That's what's, it. What's crazy, though, this is the same business that we'll call black music race records. Mm. Yeah, it is. That's what they used to call it back in the day. Show did race records. Show did, and like it's the same Chuck same Barry, business format, yep. same business plan. So it's like how, we can't even expect it to be even or even close to fair. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why. That's why we we taking these rape deals. That's why yeah. we always have because it's been the only outlet up yeah. until now. Jay tried to start something new with title. But we. We mm -hmm. talked about him. Yeah. We said, why are we making him rich? Richer. Yeah. There was one I read about you guys, too. Bro. It was on something that was like, you Bro. know what? This is the last one we ever, it, it, it kind of faltered, that deal that y'all uh, was going towards, and it kind of went a different way. So you know what? This is the last time we finna let anybody ever think that they can control what we doing from here on out. Absolutely. We on our own with it. And Man, that that's attitude, one thing. a belief in yourself. Yeah. That's one thing I want to say about, you know what I'm saying, like, and that's real what you just said, bro, like, because cause, cause you said, like, Jay-Z tried to do it, and everybody, you know what I'm saying, mainly our people looked Us. at him and said, <laughs> black people looked at him and said, well, I'm going to make this nigga rich. See, right. see, see, that's the same thing. See, mm -hmm. Puff said the same thing. Like, like uh, a lot of niggas won't buy Puffy's liquor just because... It's his liquor, Word. but you'll go buy some shit the other motherfuckers made. Yep. Yeah. you spend your money with the other people in a right. hurry because you're programmed to spend your money with them, but you can't get programmed to spend the money with your people. And I know for a fact Puffy gives back lovely. Yeah, Puffy does a whole lot for people, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? He gives back lovely. So why? That's, that's, that's why we never grow because we don't support yeah. What we doing? Because everybody got the attitude of where, oh, nigga, I'm not gonna wear that nigga. I'm not gonna put his clothes on my ass. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna look like wearing this nigga's clothes. Yeah. Why not? Hell you can yeah. go put the you can go put the uh, the European nigga that's overcharging. You can wear Any his European clothes. European man, it's gonna be you know next year that they say from yeah, Jabot to anybody else from the 80s. Real talk, the nigga's gonna be anybody. And now we get into the root of it. Like it's it's our conditioning. Exactly. It's how you know what I mean. How we've been taught. Since we came to this country, you know yeah, what I mean? bro, to, yeah. to to fear us, to hate ourselves, to not trust ourselves, bro. And I was talking to one of my, I was talking to one of my artists the other day. I was talking to him. I was like, bro, I don't know, like, 
Whatever they did to us, bro, it, it was a hell of a blow because they fucked us up. Like, yeah. so you know, we 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 we've been we've been we've been stumbling days for a long time now, bro. Man. Like, we ain't found our way yet. I'm like, that hell was a no. hell of a blow. No, he, that he, was a he, hell of a look, blow. You gotta understand. As soon as as soon as we damn near got free, we damn near <laughs> pimped our women. You know what I'm saying? So we never got to a state of like homeliness yet. We never we ain't build our own little things and make no community and shit like that. We got mm. to a point where we went to exploitation down there. We learned the poison that they did. We kind of learned that and put that into our society more and shit. And that's why it's here like this today. Yeah. I even think like I always get this example when I'm talking about this topic. Like if I pull up at a at a gas station or a liquor store or something. And I see six people standing out front that look like me. I'm gonna be a little cautious. Mm. Mm-hmm. I might even go to the next store. Might go to the next gas station <laughs> just no for, you know I mean? <laughs> for cautionary. For real. But if I see, you know what I mean, somebody that don't look like me standing out there, I ain't gonna have no problem. I'm gonna walk right in. Straight through they crowd too. They might be having a yeah. good kajib and good conversation. <laughs> right. Yeah, we uh, so I'm gonna see Sue. Nigga, yeah. get the fuck out the way. I got to get in this stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Six niggas standing in front of the store. Hey, look here. I'm gonna have to go because I don't want to have. <laughs> Shit, I'm a, you yeah. damn right about that, G. You know what I mean? But that's that's us scared of us. Mm-hmm. You yeah. right, shit. That's the, that's you the hell line. yeah. Shit, we done built fear like a motherfucker around the world yeah. with this shit. We got yeah. movies about this shit. Our best movies, our shit that got it. And I love uh, I love power. Don't get me wrong, but our best shit that we make, the NAACP awards. Powers on the motherfucking thing. Now, I, now, I love power. Don't get me wrong, because I'm a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm a dude that's just a dude that I ain't claim to be nothing else but what I am. Power don't got nothing that influences me to be a great young man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. How is the National Advancement for the Association of Colored People awarding some shit like that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, just... It's, now, of course, for what it does on ratings, yeah. But if you didn't yeah. have the association like that, I can see other uh, instances doing that. But our people saying this is what we want our kids to watch and follow and pattern after. Right. So being on this, being on this whole topic, I, it makes me want to ask you about this whole thing, uh, the uh, the whole black, the whole Black Lives Matter mm-hmm. movement. What, what, what's, 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 what's your take on that? Um. Well, yeah, I think Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. But it's like, what bothers me is when they come back with the all lives matter thing. Yeah, that's what really bothers me. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like it's such a misunderstanding. Because just like we were conditioned a certain way, they were conditioned a different way. Mm-hmm. And it's not right. their fault. Just like it's not our fault. I mean, at some point we all got to take responsibility. But just as a whole and in general. We were conditioned the opposite ways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like they don't even understand when we say <clears throat> black lives matter. That's they don't, true. It don't, it don't register the right way. Yeah. I don't think it's because, you know what I mean, it's evil intent. It's just that they really don't get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like. it's a, it, it, Yeah, yeah it, it just automatically comes off. Uh, um, it comes off offensive to them. Right. Which, which I don't understand why. Because, which it shouldn't at all. You know. There is evidence. There's, there's. I mean, there's. You know, like there, it, it's, it's sufficient evidence, like to why, like people, like we feel the way we feel, like, and this mm-hmm. ain't, you know, like everybody know, like this ain't nothing that just, just started happening. Mm. People, right. technology just got better. <laughs> That's the only thing that happened. Technology just start better, and that ain't even changed nothing. Yeah, you sure know what I'm saying? So it's like, and I understand, and I understand what you're saying because, like, like. The whole black, the whole Black Lives Matter thing wouldn't even start it mm-hmm. if all lives mattered. Right, you exactly. dumbasses. Yeah. <laughs> really, it wouldn't even it's really real. that that wouldn't even start it if all lives really mattered. Right, then the we wouldn't have black. to walk around saying Black Lives Matter. Well, to me though, like I'm interested in getting to the actual issue as opposed to. Mm-hmm. Just putting a band aid on something. Exactly. Like we yeah. can scream Black Lives Matter all day, but we got to get to the source of the problem. Exactly. And the source of the problem is what we were just talking about. Mm-hmm. Even Us. if we own some of the, the pro- source of the problem. No, 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 but, but, talk, but, yeah? And that's the next thing I was going to say because, like, that's now I got to jump on the other side because that's the, <laughs> that's the, that's the problem that I had with that movement. I'm like, my nigga, like, we've been, like, 
we've been dealing with shit in these streets like like mm -hmm. for forever like this is this this has been an issue not only by the how y'all gonna come at them like you okay y'all mad at them killing us mm -hmm. but you're not mad at us killing us <laughs> like first and foremost uh, bro if i if i got a goddamn anything if i got if i got a car and every time you see me drive this motherfucking car I'm riding down the street, running into shit like I don't give a fuck about this car. Yeah, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Tan it up. What you think the nigga is going to do that asked me to drive my shit to the car? <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to, the, to the store. Right. He going to jump in my shit and drive my shit the same way he saw me driving my shit. Hey, dog. Because I don't give a fuck about it. So, yeah. fuck it. You know, nigga, that's, that's how the nigga drive it. Yeah. What you think the motherfuckers going to do when they see us treating each other like we ain't shit to each other? Yeah. They going like to treat it. us like we ain't shit because we don't even think we shit to each other. Yeah, which goes back to the fear of us. But even even more so, like, I got this quote from uh from my man Nate Parker. He said, mm. you kill who you know. Hmm. So it's all about proximity. Yeah, yeah, that's real. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like, true. Only true. when it comes to true. us getting the money part, though. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> now, we will be in our environment, and we will shoot who we see, but we won't trade money with who we see unless we chosen to, you know what I'm saying? Because we all want to get shit from somewhere else or yeah. whatever it is. I don't know what it is about us. Now, a lot of people have been enslaved, but we some of the only ones who really ain't recovered from that shit like that. And we got a hell of a chance to with all this music. The music speaks directly to the people, and yeah. we need that kind of thing just like y'all... Dog, we have y'all here. Y'all one of the only camps doing it. Bone, hell, on the, to keep it 100, th those folks thought that they was going to probably die off already and wouldn't be able to live still to be pushing what they pushing. That's why they dog them like they do. They don't hold those guys up high. Right. You know what I'm saying? They'd have to pass away first for them to give them a, a Hall of Fame award, all that kind of shit like that. They're dangerous while they're alive. That's mm -hmm. why they're like, we ain't finna make no this and that out of those dudes. You know what I'm saying? So what y'all doing, <clears throat> if I may be... Uh, a dead horse with it by saying this but I'm serious about it keep that going because that's what's gonna make the whole next Bro, generation G and this yes, is sir. something that uh, this is something I'm I'm, I'm quite sure y'all probably know you know what I'm saying because like what y'all doing is like something amazing but just 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 a bit of advice man that I tell everybody you know what I'm saying like it's it's very important like I said y'all probably know this but it, it is very important to get your money in the beginning of your career Right. You know what I'm saying? Because like that's usually the most that's that's usually when the most money is coming in. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you know what I'm saying? And and, and it's and it's hard because at the same time you battling being this celebrity with all these motherfucking women and, and everybody wanna be your friend yeah. and everything is happening at once and like the celebrity shit always overshadows the business. Right. Until you wake up from that hangover and be like, what the fuck, nigga, motherfucker, wait a minute. I can't even pay for my goddamn bags at the airport. Wait a minute. My motherfucking money at? <laughs> nigga, what money? Right. You spent it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's it's, it's it's very important, man, to be aware of business, man, because, like, as fast as you come up, you may think you're going to be in that motherfucking moment for the rest of your life, man, right. but it's not like, like, <clears throat> you hardly ever see... What's so crazy to me is, and this is something else that has to change in the future, like, for real. What's so crazy is artists rarely ever, you rarely ever get paid from what you actually fucking do. You you really get paid from the music you actually make. It's crazy. There's other shit you got to go do, like, to really bring money in. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you you really get paid for, the, for what the fuck you signed up for. Right. Like, nigga, I signed up to work at motherfucking McDonald's, nigga, but y'all paying me for working, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, right. it's crazy like that. Yeah. No lie. Nah, it's true. I've seen it. Like, everything you're saying right now. Yeah. I've seen it with cats who come right before us. You know what I'm saying? They had a lot of situations on the line, which they chose not to take, but probably wishing they would have took it now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I... So, Appreciate the advice, and I absolutely seen it. Man, yes, indeed, bro. Because I, you know, like it's like, like I say, like, like I tell my dudes all the time. Because I'm at, because I'm at their head all the time. I'm like, motherfucker, y'all, nigga, we lucky. Yeah, we lucky. You know what I'm saying? Like, like everybody don't see it like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got to look at this shit like a blessing and carry it for as long as it carry us. Because it don't happen like this right. for everybody, bro. You got to be those. You got to be 
It's a, bro, it's a handful and you can count them. Yeah. It's a handful and you can count them. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And what y'all doing over the, at y'all camp, I can see y'all producing them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're, they're being produced, man. And you, you know what I'm saying? I just want to like, again, like, hats off and commend y'all for what y'all doing over there because like, we need positive for for our, for our people, you know what I'm saying? Got like to, it man. ain't it ain't you know like and I understand I love I love this Black Panther movie, man. But you know if 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 y'all ain't been inspired before this damn movie, y'all ain't gonna never be inspired. Hmm. You shouldn't take this movie, you know what I'm saying, to make y'all want to get up and do something. We we yeah. we, we been should have got up and came together. Nah, it's sure. a wonderful thing, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. We this something we should have been getting up supporting people that's been putting stuff out like this. Yeah, absolutely. It's been happening. Get out and support it, for real, because we here and we need to grow. No real talk. Absolutely. Shit. That's why it's going to make a move on this tail end of what y'all doing, G, because the, uh, the, the, the inner city kids, the ones where y'all from, they mm-hmm. looking at y'all because right now y'all the coolest niggas to- Period, nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Say that shit. Any of y'all niggas label make niggas and people's they the nigga. That's who we want to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know by doing that and coming from where y'all come from, but talking like y'all come from, like we were saying earlier, dude, that starts and makes the whole difference. It's a couple other rappers. Chance do do his thing. Shouts out to Chance over there in Chicago, man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You do your thing out there. You took a chance with that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Your first stuff being about the Lord and all that kind of stuff. Cut it out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do the same kind of situations, G. Yes, sir. Chances. This is what we need, man, because only this going to turn people back around, man. Back to the conversations what our grandmother used to give us, man. They give you a little peppermint for your breath and tell you something <laughs> what the Lord <laughs> say inside your ear, too. And, baby, maybe give you a little sip. My grandma gave me a sip of that man of Chevy's Regal. You know what I'm saying? For real. Damn. So yeah, what now? Sip. Damn. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But she tell me something about the Lord, too. Give me one of the peppermints. Oh, yeah. Don't tell nobody we had this conversation. <laughs> You know what I'm Especially your mom and them, you know. <laughs> Niggas stand about seven years old, something like that, for real. <laughs> Me and my brothers, but that's how it's got to be that way. It's got to so, be authentic, Joe. So, 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 we, so before we let you about that, because we know you're a busy man, man. You got things to do. But what, 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 what? Um, what's, 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 what's the, what's the ultimate, like the ultimate end goal, end goal for Top Dog Entertainment? Like, where, where, where do, you, where do you see this label going in, like? being in the history of music man it's a great question our whole thing is to expand let's continue to expand in many different platforms as possible like we moved over into sports Mm -hmm. then uh like we just got that black panther soundtrack which is crazy Mm mm-hmm we put SZA out. She's a different... She's a singer. Shout yes. out to SZA, too. Yes, Incredible. Indeed. Shout out. You know what I mean? Next thing is going to movies. Okay. It's like, we just want to expand in every way possible, just to keep growing and growing. Yes, indeed. You know what I mean? So as many branches on, on, on the TDE tree. Yes, indeed, man. That's the whole key to us. That's what's up, man. Plus, I see y'all even... I know y'all already do, but stopping by them high schools and spitting at them kids and letting them know, they're going to see y'all and be like, What? They yeah. came over here and said this. Yeah, definitely. Y'all the ones man. right now, G. Yes, sir. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? Man. That window's open. They gonna listen. Yeah. At, at this point, on 2018 is y'all's. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lord, like, let me see what y'all gonna do with this here, man. Yeah. You now nah, we can we can now. actually see it at this point. Like, it, it was a time when you know we was still grinding. Mm-hmm. And it was like people saying certain things, but now like even when we do our, our annual uh, concert and the projects mm-hmm. every year. Yeah. Like just the turnout just keep growing and growing. Bro, bro, that's how it be. You know yeah. It's yeah. this whole it's the whole projects is there. Everybody cool. It's no issues. Mm-hmm. The cats from the neighborhood, if they want to mm-hmm. work, they can work. Get paid for the three days. That's dope. You know what I mean? Like, oh man, that sounds that's, that's look, crazy. <laughs> next year, soapbox digital network. You know what I'm saying? The quick fix. We coming next year. You know what I'm saying? And we're bring some potato salad. Another oh, yeah, place. You gonna make yeah. some of that? You gonna make a dish hey, too? I'll we be gonna there, man. Gonna so I definitely want to check it out for sure. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely, man. But but man, we thank you for man taking time out your busy schedule, yes, man, sir. to come chop it up with us, man. You, you're welcome man, on this show, man, anytime, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, your whole squad, whenever y'all want to come through, man, chop it up with us. We definitely love to have you. Pick your brain some more, get into some more deeper subjects, man. You nah, know what I'm nah, saying? Absolutely. You know, we go even deeper than that, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We just, you know what I'm saying? We just want to chop it up with you for a minute. But thank you again for coming through, man. And uh, Yes, yeah, definitely looking forward to everything y'all got going on, bro. Man, I appreciate y'all having me, man. Like it's a real honor. Like I said at the jump. Yes. Like Bone has raised me. 
Man, it's all love, mm-hmm. brother. So yes, indeed. Out. We talked to a lot of great people, but this is a great man right here, man. It's oh, dope man. to shake your hand. And uh, I'm glad to be able to say this shit and not be like, nigga, you know how LL said, nigga, <laughs> holding in my laugh as I say that I love you. Nah, <laughs> nigga, you a dope dude. Yes, and indeed. This is good to say this. I'm trying, I'm trying to meet more of them. Yes, I, I pray for that. Definitely, man. Hey, everybody, we thank y'all for joining this podcast, man. Y'all make sure y'all join us next week yeah. on the After Hours. Make sure y'all catch our Wednesday show on Dash Radio. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Cray List. It goes down. Y'all join us for Hip Hop Hour over there. It goes down, man. We holler at y'all next week. Love y'all. Peace. Digital Soulbox Network, baby. You know what it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is this exactly? Digital Soapbox Network. Network.